Here it is. I created a new macro, and I'm going to show you how to download this one as well. First, you're going to go to autohotkey.com, and you're just going to click download and download version 1.1. Once you have that installed, you're going to go to my GitHub. Links in the description. You're going to click stable releases, and you're going to go to the most recent macro version. Click on it, and then do Control Shift S to save it, or you can go to the three dots and click download. Once you have that downloaded, um, you're going to go to that download and you're going to make any random folder. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it fish. You're going to drag that macro into that folder and then run that macro. It's going to tell you you don't have the file settings yet or settings file yet. You're going to click OK. It's going to create one for you. And you're going to double click into the settings file and you're going to change these settings. For control, you're going to go to your Roblox, go to your equipment bag, and whatever rod you have equipped, you're going to take that control and put that into the settings file. So mine is 0 0.15. Next, for navigation key, you're going to go to your Roblox, um, go to Roblox settings. Scroll down, make sure your UI navigation toggle is on, and then copy that key that it tells you to use and put it into the navigation key. For shake timeout, that's just however however many shakes it should do before it like resets the entire thing. Um, my rod shakes pretty quickly, so I'm going to go 20. Um, for rods that take longer, it should be higher. For long for rods that take significantly shorter, you can put like ten. And that is all for your settings. So once you got that complete, you could press O to reload the macro, and your settings should have updated there on the right. And you're just gonna press P to start, and it should all work out. There we go. If you have any uh, issues with it, join my Discord. Link's also in the description.